What's happening? Back doing it again. Dougie Fresco alongside Will Lowry beyond the Fairway Podcast presented by Genesis. I'm still waiting on my car for the record. But Will, what's cracking, man? How you look? Man. You home. This is weird. I'm finally. I'm finally <laughs> at home, dog. I, I have not been at home for a while. And not to say I'm complaining. I'm not saying I'm complaining. However, mm. I've been on a roll. It, it gets frustrating being around golf. Being around golf. Okay. Not swinging it, not swinging a club. Yep. But I'm watching other people swing glove and get fulfillment and laughter and joyfulness. I'm glad he, I'm glad getting some laughter, but however, I am I'm ready to swing a golf club. I'm just ready to swing a damn golf club. I mean, but, all right, hold on, but but you've been let's 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 unpack where you've been because look, on this episode, let's go ahead and preface this. Will and I, we're gonna go ahead and do what we do, man. We're not bringing we don't always need to bring somebody in here and go beyond the fairway. Sometimes we got stuff that we want to talk about, get off our chest. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go beyond the fairway right here, right now, with our damn selves. And we'll just kick this off. I want to talk a little bit about about this underrated tour. We've touched on it in different uh shows briefly. But now that we have some time. Let's let's go ahead and go through this. You had how, how did it start? I get it, Steph Curry. Let's talk through it. So a year and a half ago, we have been working on this underrated golf tour. Steph had a vision of how can he attack the golf space and have maximum impact. Okay. Now, that maximum impact is very broad. You know, you got the first tees doing a thing. You got the Boys and Girl Club. You got various organizations. YOCs. Y- exactly. Yeah, YOC. They're doing their part. But this is the specifics is let's attack the competitive space. And he's going to double down, which is a junior space. He already doing some impactful in the collegiate space. What are you doing with Howard? Correct. And yep. the thing, the thing is, well, how can we increase that participation number amongst black and brown? It is obviously at a, at the numbers are dismal. So, you know, we put this, we put together this awesome idea of grabbing 60 kids, 30 boys, 30 girls, take them around the country, treat them as if they are PGA tour players. And, uh, Steph is paying for their travel, Damn. food, board. It is Bill Dickey 2.0. I was going to say, it sounds like the Bill Dickey, but in it, in now terms, and we'll talk about what that is here when Will finishes his talk. Yeah. Sounds so like that. It's like Bill Dickey. So Bill Dickey 2.0, these kids are playing elite golf courses. Uh, in the They're having four regular season. We had four regular season events in the Tour Championship. The four regular season events were at Cog Hill, um, Wickenburg uh, Ranch. I remember Wickenburg, y'all came out here. Wickenburg Ranch. It was at Innisbrook over there with Miss Sheila Johnson, hmm. and uh, we also had uh, Golf Club of Houston. Damn. And the Tour Championship was at Harding Park, which is in the staff backyard. And it was a season long points race. Out of the thirty boys, thirty girls, we took twelve from each division, top twelve on a season long points okay. race. I like points. that. And they were all here at uh, at um, at Harding Park this past weekend in San Francisco. And it was like a corn fairy slash PGA tour event for these kids. All right, I don't hate you none know. Of that. And we and we gotta give a shout out to Roman Solomon, as well as Ashley Shaw, Ashley Shaw from Lynchfield, uh, Arizona, as as well as Roman Solomon from That's Sarasota, it. Florida. Getting W's and Get getting w's. w's, man. So it it was a unique event. Colin Moore Cal was out there. Uh, Michelle, we um, uh, get, the, get the stars out. Uh, the stars. Uh, uh, what's the, Andre Guadala. And we had a panel discussion, great panel discussion, where I hosted, yours truly hosted, with uh, Steph Curry as well as uh, Colin Morikawa. And it was the who's who of golfers yeah, out there. Yeah, you had PGA Tour, like, execs there. And yes. Uh, Marsha, shout out to Marsha Oliver yeah. and, as well as uh, King Otto Ramsey were out there. And, and you know, and, and you get to see the whole dynamic of what Steph has done and, and really put thought and passion to really grow this game and provide a platform for these young men and women. But here's the thing, Will. Hold on. Let me just let me get in here real quick. Because I, I, I love what Steph has done. Okay. Right? And I appreciate what Steph has done. And I'm not trying to be messy, but I will, I'm just I, I want to make a point or or push some thought here. It feels like there's a lot of motion in growing junior golf right now across the country. But is it a concerted effort or do people not even give a damn per their individual factions? I'll give you more. You have Steph Curry, underrated. You got Cameron Champ, Jeff Champ doing the Mac Champ Invitational. You've got the different YOCs and the first tees, and you have uh, the guys from Deuce putting on junior golf events, et cetera, et cetera. But here's the, the question is, 
is it a concerted effort or are all these little factions, are they doing themselves a service by being independent or could they do bigger by like, consol not consolidating, but like figuring out how to make it all work together in concert? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a great question. We we would like to think on a service on a service level that we can do it in a concerted effort, and everybody uh, can have a kumbaya moment and come together. Mm. Unfortunately, we can't do that. It's a competition. It, believe, believe it or not, you'd be surprised how some of these tours out there out here are mm. are really upset that the kid is going to play another tour. I'm not gonna get <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna get into the weeds. <laughs> I'm not going to get to the weeds who's doing what, but it, I, you know, I play junior golf and, but me being a part of the golf space on this side, I guess from an administrative standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, orchestrator, organizer, whatever you want to call it, man, it is vicious out here. <laughs> it's vicious out here. So like, it's going to be no teamwork is what you're saying. Nobody's going to work be, together. It's not like no teamwork. I had, I had, so when I was in the middle of recruiting some of the kids for the underrated golf tour, I asked a couple of the, uh, outstanding uh who i thought were doing a great job on a surface level what i knew were growing the game coming from the heart creating tournaments for kids who come from different clubhouses mm -hmm. they were doing a great job and i loved it and and i'm saying hey is there a way i get some information on this particular kid i saw him or her there and i want to probably bring one underrated man it's like i had to get a down payment i was buying a car <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean? I, I'm not trying to. We're we're not. Co we're coming peace. We're not. We just want to give another platform. We come in peace. So it is. It's getting. It's getting vicious. It's vicious philanthropy. Mm. Maybe that's that, a, maybe, maybe I, that's what I, maybe, I don't hate it. That it, and it and it's and it's and it's killing me. And as we go into a second season, I I'm I do not want to come across another director of a tour that has a vicious heart." or a yeah. malice heart to to hold kids hostage without preventing them from being uh, in position to succeed. I just found I'm, it interesting with, with how golf is so traditional, right? If you don't have a tradition, traditional event where it's the AJGA and all these other, you know, alphabet soups of, of junior golf, it's, it's like you're stealing their kids and you're preventing them from getting their bag. You know, and that's that's and that's one thing that you know, outside looking in from the the underrated tour, Steph kind of attached himself to like AJGA. You get stars for underrated, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Now, you know, I'm not sure you know all the ins and outs of you know the Mac Champs and the in the you know Jim Thorpe's, et cetera. But it feels like if you're gonna do it, do it to where these kids can advance to a platform where their their voices are echoed, or they, they you know their impact is echoed, and people can actually really get them to college. Absolutely, and that's the thing. And and, and you know, in in AJGA, shout out to Jason Etson over there at AJGA, who you know really, um, you know, went hand in hand with Underrated Tour and helping these kids get the stars, so they can still have a platform to play. Uh, outside of underrated golf tour, you know, AJJ doing a lot of stuff over the Ace Kids Grant Foundation they have, and and they really want to grow the game of golf uh, internally, especially when it comes to the way from the aesthetic standpoint, the way it look. And I'm just getting, I'm just getting so frustrated at, at the game <laughs> in the junior space from parents who are really tough on these kids, yeah. like like that's a whole, it's some. There's yeah. some crazy I, ass parents I, out there, Doug. I see, I see you about no, to let, no, let it out. I'm, I'm about to let it out. Let it out. Ass, this is it's our crazy, show. There's some crazy ass parents out there. I have gotten 12, 12 coaches, D1, D2, mid-major coaches calling me. Hey, man, what about this kid? Oh, he has a crazy father. Can't deal with him. Because the parent is crazy. Damn. And I'm getting tired of it, Doug. I'm getting tired of it, man. Like, we'll, we'll we, sit these, you know, no talent ass parents down, man. I mean, man, somebody gonna have to tell these parents shut, shut up. You got to. And, I'm, I, let, me tell, and let me tell you what I'm noticing. Honest. And this is my, this is my analysis. My, okay. My, you know how I, my mind. I like works. how we in this junior golf space. Yeah. I think this needs to be discussed. Go you, ahead. You know, let it you know how you know how my mind works, Doug. Mm -hmm, come on. I'm starting to notice the parents that won't <laughs> in high school, <laughs> elementary, junior high school are the ones that's taking it out. On their oh yeah, kids. they're living vicariously through their kids, you know, talent that they didn't have. Couldn't, no question. Couldn't, dri couldn't dribble a ball through the legs. Couldn't throw a ball over a plate. Couldn't throw a ball in the end zone. <laughs> I, I I really think those are the kids. Those are the parents that are so aggressive on their kids, and I'm getting tired of it because I'm I I have 12, 13 college coaches are calling me every week. 
what about this kid right here? I said, man, he's a good kid. I say his name. They're not messing with him. And then, then they're trying to worry about how to get the kid branding to a certain place. Man, leave the kid alone first so he can. Oh yeah, get the parents trying to. Man, they're pimping the kids out too. So I'm. There's so there's so many dimensions of the junior <laughs> golf space. I am so upset about right now. Yeah, and just because I, your son or daughter can sh- break eighty doesn't entitle them to any nil money. Like you, it's, look, this, exactly. You, you got to be bigger than that. Like I'm just letting you know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That 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 got me upset. Well, hey, so let me, do you still want to talk about this? Because no, I, go I, ahead. No, I'm I'm interested. I, this what, is this is that. What, look, I, I, let me say this. Go ahead. I hope more people actually listen to to what you just had to say. Because it's super impactful, man. I mean, a lot of people think that they kids, you know, uh, are the best thing smoking. They sh- rainbows. You know what oh, I'm saying? Gosh. Everything they do is perfect. But I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of kids, you, they, they don't have it. They trash, you know. But yeah. their parents have, have pushed them so hard. And the kid believes. Think about the pressure on the child. Like, when they know they're not, not you know, where they think they could be. And the parent is pushing them and pushing them. There's going to be a, a big cognitive dissonance within that relationship, but, man. And that's, but, but, that's not but, how you trust. Don't trust the parent. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. I but, Doug, I'm, I'm going I'm to shoot one back at you. I'm going to shoot one back at you. There's kids that are good and capable of being better than what they are. Mm. However, the parent is putting pressure on them to exceed the sideline expectation that the mm. parents have. Those are ones like there's a couple parents, man. Bro, I want to square up with bro. Square, hey, like, I, I, bro, I want to square up with man. Like, man, you you are doing your kid a disservice, and and sometimes. No, are you are, telling the parent that? No, I don't know. I don't have the balls to, <laughs> because I don't know where I stand. I don't know where I stand. The kids love me. The parents love me, and I, my tongue is bleeding, Doug. My mm. tongue is bleeding. Man, we just talked about your kid, and as a college coach, not touching your kid because you are the crazy one. Say that. I feel like you're doing a disservice if you don't say it. You're Next. right. You're right. I, I, you're right. I, you, you're absolutely right. And I received that. I received that. Anyway, I'm done with the parents, and I'm, I'm not talking junior <laughs> golf a little bit. Hey, so this virtual Tiger Woods, Roy McIlroy thing, I'm still completely lost on this thing. Okay. Well, what do you educate, know? Educate. Edu- what do you know? Wait, I don't know if this, I don't understand it or if my ADD kicked in. I just haven't comprehended anything. I think I think it's all of the above, bro. <laughs> I think it's I, well. It's Indeed. not it's not that easy to really comprehend, and you know we'll we'll try to break it down here. But it's it's a mixture of golf, tech, prime time, stadium, and I'm I'm really intrigued how how they're gonna put it together, and we'll th- we'll throw up what it is. So the TGL. Uh, tomorrow Golf League, uh, the Golf League with Tomorrow Sports, six teams, the PGA Tour, uh, excuse me, six teams of three PGA Tour players. So what is it? Uh, first of its kind experience for golf-enabled, data-rich, virtual course, complete with tech-infused short game complex, which is interesting to me. I think they're going to play virtual golf until they get within a certain distance and then use the stadium, the short game area within the stadium to finish said whole i it's it's gonna be interesting because what i what i appreciate is them saying it's high energy greenside fan experience with every shot live with a two-hour prime time televised match so number one before we even talk about it tiger rory you see two faces right here let will and i bring the heat i'm just this is stupid without us a part of it you know what i'm saying you need you need some you need some a mixture of people and attitudes we're gonna keep his hat back i might keep the bucket on let me know i'm just saying let me put it out there but well it it seems though and and this is where i think a lot of people get confused because live golf comes out they do their thing they they put in billions of dollars into golf buying up tour players like like uh i'm not gonna say that word but they're buying up tour players uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they're buy- <laughs> I love it, Dougie. They're, they're buying up tour players, right? And they're changing people's lives. And that's a fact, okay? If you're a Harold Varner, not talking sh- crap about Harold Varner, but say he made over $50 million to go to live golf. Look, I doubt he would have earned that over the next few seasons on the PGA Tour. That's a good move for Harold, okay? Regardless of what you feel, we're just talking dollars and cents. That's a good move for Harold. Now, I, I said all that to say, Will, People assume that all of this stuff coming out right now is in a response to live. Now, I would venture to say that that's not fully true because I do know there's a quote out there that we'll get to here in a minute that you kind of support, Will. But I wholeheartedly believe that the PGA Tour saw live coming years ago because, of course, 
Greg Norman's loud. He's going to broadcast everything. So right. he put it out there. They were planning their response over the last two years. You can't say they weren't because they were ready to press play on all of these you know, activities and ways to, to put more money in the pockets of PGA Tour players. It's not a response to live, though some people will think differently. I mean, it, be that as it may, Mr. Phil Mickelson was right. What? What he's what what who I mean I, I mean Phil had a quote out there like you know what Phil well, say I don't know if he was right but he said it's, hey money came somehow PJ Tour got some money okay cool if, if that if Phil want to take the credit for it, or PJ Tour want to take credit for it, whatever 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 okay it, it's, it, it's I think it provides more opportunity for the the younger cat coming up when he talk about this golf space but I still want to go back to this this I know we kind of venture off a little bit. But we this, always venture enough. It's what we do I, here. That's it's beyond what, that's the fairway. Do. It ain't. It ain't but, in the in the this, bounds. This, this virtual. This 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 virtual thing. I'm still lost. Like, is it a Tiger Woods play? Could we get to see Tiger a little more? Because we know Tiger was not gracing gracing the fairways as much as we would like. Interesting take. I mean, is it a Tiger Woods play? Because I'm still lost. I, on... I think it's a, a an avenue where Tiger would get to have more reps. I mean, there's no walking involved. You know, you got a short game area inside of an arena. You're playing virtual a, golf, hitting drivers that, and stuff. And, and that's the thing, though. Doug, low stress. It, but is, that the, is, is, is the crowd really going to be watch, happy to see Top Golf on a, <laughs> in a, another version of Top, a better version of Top Golf? I mean, is the crowd really excited to see Live Golf? I don't know. That's up for other people's interpretation. I don't know. But look, I appreciate the effort. Look, when's the last time you went to Top Golf? Didn't have a good time. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that you sit and watch people compete, but That's in fair. this new era, Will, I will throw a little curveball at you because I'm I'm too old for this. Okay. You look at Twitch and those streaming platforms where you can actually go watch somebody else play video game and you watching it with popcorn and diet soda. That That's true. a thing. Like people going to stadiums now. This e-gaming, e-sports is real. Now, I think this is a gamification of golf into e-sport and also think it provides another avenue for people to get into the game of golf via golf simulation launch monitors etc etc because now you don't longer need any grass i think it's a stretch i think it could i'm saying it's it's a whole i I think it's a stretch i'm all for it i'm all for this this new this new golf space but i think it's a stretch to compare it to as a quote says comparable to sitting courtside at an nba game Don't come on! Don't 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 pee on me and tell me it's raining. I'm with you. I, I'm, I'm gonna go out and push this thing because I love PJ Tour. That's family. Whatever they what, they don't that's, know me. They don't that, know. They don't. They don't stretch. know me yet. They that's, stretch Armstrong out here. I'm not saying I'm bro. We love PJ Tour. Whatever we do, PJ Tour live. I, we do PJ Originals. Whatever PJ Tour want us to do, we're gonna do because we love the family. However, I do wish we was somewhere near this writing a statement. Course, I never sat courtside. Damn, my, damn. I said I said courtside at a WNBA game back when Charlotte Sting was here, and I felt like I was the richest man in the world. So you mean tell me if I get Golden State Warriors, I'm gonna feel like that on watching this? Tiger Woods swing into a. I, I feel uh, like if you're uh, there, if you're there. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but I I do think. I would like to see more players actually have a personality, and I think this is an avenue where you know they're not just so stoic, and every player's you know the same guy. I mean, you go out oh. and watch people from Cameron Young to Cameron Champ, and they all just act the exact same. They just well, I mean, well, you know what though? I tell you, some of these kids may have a personality if they're getting a five hundred thousand dollar guaranteed uh, earning assurance, you know, <laughs> which is a, another. Great way for PJ Tour to partner with some of their players, which I'm totally in agreement with. I, I think uh, I feel like this after you and to your point, you're talking about the assurance that the players coming into the tour will receive from the PGA. It's basically a I half love million it when you clean. I love when stipend. you clean me up, Doug. I love you know when you what I'm saying. So I I actually think this is this is beneficial. Um, when you're a corn fairy top 25 guy and you're coming out. And I know now PGA Tour players, but just keep it there. Don't quote me. I'm not Brandle, so I'm just coming out from Corn Ferry. Look, there's a lot of money that you need to travel correctly on the PGA Tour and get placed week to week. And now knowing if you don't, you know, earn a living out there, there's an opportunity for you 
via the tour to still be able to get there and have a fair shot. Now, I will say this. I think that should then be trickled down to those folks coming out of college as well as those folks coming to HBCUs who are trying to get to Corn Ferry or to Latin or to uh, yes. Canada. I'm yes. just I'm just saying um, because th- if you you get bread a little bit if you're coming on PJ tour, like you still get a little bit of bread from a sponsorship standpoint or what have you. So yeah, go ahead and send that little bread down to the Latin who the top ten Latin who yeah. are struggling on the travel on the travel scene or travel circuit. Well, I'm speaking of sp- with that. Speaking of sponsors, well, Beyond the Fairway is presented by Genesis Motor America and the 2022 GV80. Luxurious design meets intuitive versatility. Make the game your own. And if players do want to make the game their own, having 500 Gs from the PGA Tour help them. But, Will, we were on a good point there that we need. I want to touch back on is, look, I'm, I'm at a point in golf. Right. And look, yes, we have the podcast and we talk about it on NBC. NBC is very great. We're grateful to NBC. But this whole diversifying the game, it just can't be half assed. Right. It's got to be like mm. a 360 marketing approach. You can't do one thing one time and expect to make a difference. OK, Absolutely. so that's what I'm. that's that's just one of the things. Now, look, I'm not even talking about diversity in the game. Look, they're going to get five hundred thousand dollars. These guys are going to get helped out. If these guys going from Corn Ferry into PGA Tour are getting help now. Both event tours are PGA Tour sanctioned. Okay, I get that. But if they're going in from Latin to Corn Ferry, or they're coming in from Canada to Corn Ferry, I also believe because they are PGA sanctioned events, there should be some help. And I'm not talking about the diversity arm and black and brown. I'm talking about guys that are trying their ass off and gals trying their ass off to make their life change via golf and the avenues that golf can provide. I think there should be more focus and assistance via the PGA Tour down there rather than just helping Corn Ferry guys get out. That's got just me. to. I mean, That's but, just me. But, but you got to. I mean, because you got to think, if, again, I still think you have bread when you yeah. get that tour card. There's there's companies saying, hey, we'll give you that chance for a couple hundred thousand dollars here and there. So the travel, I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, if you get caught up I don't know if you're gonna be going broke. That's what I'm trying to say. You're gonna go broke, but look, all right. Prime, okay, case of point. You get hot right now. You take whatever money you got in the bank, right? Say you got five, six Gs. You go to Q school, get hot, and get status. That could happen. That could it happen. Might, it now, might happen this year. get this. You're almost effed because now you don't have the bread to play. <laughs> mm, like you almost. I mean, what is that? Prime example, not to call him out, but to call him out. Christian Heavens goes to uh, goes to pre qualifying here at PJ Tour last week. He gets out. Now he's stressed out. You know why he's stressed out? Because he don't know if he's going to money for first stage. That's three G's. Mm. Now he's trying. He's putting all his bread together, coins, rubbing every penny he got to try to make it on the PGA Tour. Got through pre qual. Now got into first stage, and now he might not even get to play. Will because he ain't you know got no what? chance. You know, it's funny you say that. I, there was something I want to go, but you just do me a, a monkey wrench. How many cats from the PGA Tour, excuse me, a PGA Tour, who's getting bread, are playing in Q School this year? I, I don't have that number. I can tell you Willie Mack, Tim O'Neill's going to Q School for Champions Tour, Christian Heavens. Uh, Christian Heaven's not getting all the bread like everybody else on APJ Tour. Yeah, that's fair. You said plays the tour. You I mean, mean like, I'm, talking have, about, I'm talking about with all the sponsors and everything. Who? who? Um, Kamayu Johnson? Is Kamayu in there? I, I, I know he signed up, but I heard that he might not have. I think he withdrew, actually. I, I don't know. See my, I didn't see my APJ Tour. I can't. Put, I can't I, it should be a full slate of APJ Tour players who are competing on the big money stage that these great sponsors are, are, are throwing up. The Cisco's. Uh, Farmers, uh, the, the farmers. I, I expect to see these guys on in the on Q school. There's no excuse no more. We we were around the APJ tour. We didn't have a pot to piss in, and we were trying to compete for that little bread that APJ was trying their best to give us an opportunity. Mm. I, I I don't don't let you better be glad I don't have that number. I don't have that number. We'll get it. We'll we'll follow up to that. What's uh, up with this? What's oh. up with this? Uh, what's up with this? Uh, the, the new player performance impact. Man, they just look. The gist is they're just giving people more money to do more, right? Like, so hold on. What I'm reading here so the play impact program, read it correct. So the play impact program will reward 20 players and the payout will double from 50 million to 100 million. Godly, 
Yeah, we in the crazy. wrong we on the wrong side of this golf thing right now because everybody getting paid. Um, I, quit, I quit a year too early. Two years too early. That's another yeah. thing we I I want to get into at some point, but it's it's one of those things where if I was born now with the talent I had, sh- hell, I might have actually had a real shot instead shit. of using my mama's you know money we, that she, when she passed to try to make it to the tour. Man, I, I'm I'm learning I more. Two, than I had two events to try to get to. <laughs> off your mama's insurance money. That's some <laughs> hey, that, that's how I got it. Hey, hey, after my mom was insurance money, I think I, I think I, I felt. <laughs> hey, that's the only time I travel well. Ma, mama, God rest your soul. I love you. We both, both mamas, we love you. Hey, hey uh, hold on, hold um, on, Will. Hold on, but hold on. Look, look. Let's, let's, let's touch on a couple things. And I want to, I want to ask you this question seriously before you go forward. All right. There was a, a live winner today in Boston. His name was Dustin Johnson. Not sure if you remember who that is. I heard he played a tour. And he was he was he was second on the PIP last year. Let's just be honest for just two (laughs) seconds about Liv. Do you care or did you do anything as it relates to like follow or look up scoring uh, from this event? Let's just let's just get it out there. Be honest. No, be honest. Let me uh, talk about. All right. Well, let me let me tell you this. As you look at hands, why are you looking right. at your hands? Because I, because <laughs> why are you, why are you look? Will's looking at his hands like he got some, like he got I, notes I got, written I got, on. I got, Show I got, me your hands. I got the angel wheel and I got the devil wheel right here, and I'm just trying to figure out. Well, what just I, put what them I'm together. Saying. All right, put them together. All right, I, I like everybody getting bread. Some of the reason why those guys went over there and the reason why they went, I'm not happy in the statement that they provided. Bars. I think is, I think is. I was just talking about Boston specifically. You yeah, no, I know. I'm going. Oh, you, I, I, you getting there? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Get there. I'm. A, I'm gonna yeah. wait. I'm and gonna you wait. know what? I don't know if I'm gonna get there, Doug. But just let me let me get this off my. Let's go ahead. Yes. Everything's so politicized these days, right? A couple weeks ago, I think they had a live event, and Mr. Donald Trump was there. I feel like it's a goddamn Donald Trump tour a little bit. And I just hope Joe Biden don't come to a PJ Tour event because I don't need nothing <laughs> politicized right now. I don't need. <laughs> I don't need no. I don't need no Democratic uh, golfers, and I don't need no Republican golfers. I'm all of tired. our producers are on edge right now. <laughs> just, everybody's on the edge of their seat right now. I, I but I just I, I I haven't really fully paid attention to live just yet because I'm still trying to get over the YouTube thing. I mean, I. I the only time I go to YouTube is when I'm trying to find brand new uh, glitch plays for Madden. That's the only time I use Madden, YouTube. <laughs> but but to go to YouTube to find my source in golf because lessons I go to Golf Pass. Um, plug or plug. That one came out real smooth. Hey, that's, that <laughs> I dig that one. I appreciated that. that no, nah, yeah, you need to get love right. for that. Well played. But but I I have not I have not got lost and lived just yet, so I can't really speak on it just yet because we were so scared to speak on it the past six months i live with the devil to me i'm like i'm not talking about live i ain't dreaming about live yeah, I'm, so, not try, I'm not trying to live right now right. So exactly <laughs> exactly exactly so I, I, i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna do an audible i'm shoot that same question you hit me with back at you i checked the scores oh you did I'll be, I'll be honest i got friends out there dog like you know what i'm saying at the end of the day Bro- it's still golf you know what i'm saying i want to check see how brooks is playing and on some devilishness Dude. I'm trying to see what the what the last place person is shooting and how much they gonna make. I'm more intrigued by how high you can shoot and make a check. Nah. I, that's, that's what not... gets me. It's like I wanna s I wanna know who's getting that 120 G's for shooting 85, 97, 42. That's... I, or however the score score that, is that's, 54 that's, holes. I don't know. That's not what you get is getting me. That's I'm, why I look at the I, I just know, check it out. I, I just check it. I want to see the, the the check that the caddy's making because I did see J- Dustin Johnson make that putt. That caddy of Dustin Johnson was overly ecstatic. <laughs> like, like he, no, he, 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 he did all his calculations in that in that point one well, point two three seconds. Well, look, there's no there's no question that Liv does break their tradition. They've broken everything we've we've thought about the game, and they've just. Has annoyingly it, no, have Doug, interrupted some things. Has it helped the game, Doug? Look, they're not growing nothing. I don't give a damn what they stand on. Look, if 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 this is growing the game, then I don't want it to grow that way. It's just me. It's just my take. I so ain't seen that. Ha- okay, I'm being. Look, okay, I'm being okay, what is growth? Okay, what is growth? I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so 
tradition in history. They're they're literally ripping the soul out of people to chase bread rather than chase championships. That's my what, thing, right? What's I'm not defending Liv, but what's I'm not soul? Saying, I'm so, okay. Hey, hey, everybody. F that thing you grew up wanting to do. I got hundred million for you. It's like whoa. F a now, U.S. Now, Open. Now, F a Masters. I want I people playing in majors. That's what I care on. about. Doug, now you I, got these guys going over there doing all this kind of stuff. Man, look, look. Doug, get I'm your not, bread and just go away. I'm not you with lawsuits and all that stuff. Look, if you take the bread, just take your bread and you well, explain it. Just, explain this just to shut, me. Just go explain, shut up. Explain this to me. Did Liv not approach PJ Tour correctly? Like, hey, we can probably alter the game. In a certain manner. I have no idea. I, that's okay. something that I so have no. So you can't no say that. You can't say it takes t- souls. But your question was about growing the game. Okay. I'm. T- this is an opinion based pod. I'm getting passionate right now. It's, I see that. I see that. But and you messed up my my transition. So now I got to do it all over. So we're talking about live and how they're altering the game. Now, how about this? Live golfers are going to be wearing shorts now during competitive rounds. Will, mm. how's that make you feel? I think if you can pay that much money, you need to be hot. I need pants. <laughs> if you can get no bread, if you can get no bread, shorts all day. Mini tours, shorts all day. Shorts. PJ Latin, Canadian tour, shorts, shorts. all day. I feel you. But if you get bread, if you get bread, I need I need to see another element of struggle. I need to see another element of struggle. I need to see. I need to see you hot. I just see you cooking. You you want to see Scotty Scheffler at at the uh, at the damn uh, St. Jude? That boy was sweating everything out of his shirt. I, I, I need thought. to see that. he 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 earned that bread. I need to see that sweat, All son, right. son. <laughs> Go ahead and sweat now, Will. We touched on Liv. I know you wanted to keep that party going. I'm not because that's as much as I'm gonna uh, get on their ass yeah. in this episode. Right. Now, here's something interesting. Hit me because I think a lot of people. Are, are again are saying that this isn't a response to live blah 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 elevated events on the PGA Tour FedEx Cup playoffs FedEx St Jude Championship and we're gonna have some more bread twenty million dollar purse BMW twenty million dollar purse Tour Championship seventy five million dollar purse that's including the bonus pool now we go down the list Genesis Arnold Palmer Memorial Dell Match Play Century Tournament Champions all have elevated purses this year will. And, I feel like the APGA and the PGA Tour are on the same thing right now because they putting more and more money into these purses. I might just play APGA on real just next year just to try to make a bag or two. But elevated events, is it a response to live or has the PGA Tour just waved a wand over their bank account and found some more cheese to, to pay players more cheese? I, uh, I'm scared to answer that one. You see how I did all that? Yeah, that was I good. I put uh, you up on I, I set I, you yeah. up to say some dumb shit. You, you set me up to get. You set me up to get fired. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before elevated. I do that, before before you respond, I've been waiting on this all day. <laughs> I bought a hype button. Uh, Doug, you never cease to amaze me, brother. You beige, brother. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I refuse to say anything to incriminate myself. So, uh. I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I think I think what Phil Mickelson did raised some eyebrows to where we got to where we are in this space of elevated events. I'm you glad say, you're saying Phil did this. Is that I let think, me just I, understand I, I, better I'm what you're saying? I, I feel but you said it was already in the happening, so I didn't know it was already in the mix. I'm, so I'm maybe- assuming, and here's the quote before you go, unless there was leverage, nothing was going to change, and all players should be appreciative of what Liv is doing. That's from Phil Mickelson. Okay, so in, the, in, that, in that case, Phil probably threw some, threw some salt in the water to get some stuff fizzled up. Was that a good fizzle? Fizz? I tried. I don't know if it worked. It's okay. I don't know if salt and water fizzes. It does. It just goes straight to the bottom. That's how I swim. Sure. Straight to the bottom. Okay. The rock. So you're saying you agree with Phil is what you're saying. I I, I do because because I I think these young players have Phil to think. They they, they really they really do. I, I, in my opinion. That's my I opinion. Just, I just feel like Phil should just shut the hell up. That's how I feel. If he shut honest. the hell up for four or five months. He want he need to. Speak oh, so now he hey hey. So when he leave, I'll be talking again. That's what you're exactly. saying. <laughs> he, 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 tell him to shut up. 
he'll shut up, but when he leave, he'll be talking again. Hey, for all of, for all of our white listeners, that was a reference to Friday, one of the greatest movies in the African American film, starred Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. All right, so uh, I think it is a great time for young golfers to get in because this enhanced, elevated events, eight of them, you said, twenty mm-hmm. million dollar purses. Let it out. Why are you stuttering? Stay. I know he, you stutter, be, because, but get the because, shit out. Come on. I, I, live. They still have the element of not having to work for their bread. It's guaranteed. Show up. You get paid. The PJ Tour. Obviously, the events are increasing. It gives opportunity to have new stars to evolve. But you still got to go work for this bread. You still got to go work for it. You still gotta go work and compete. It is now time for Make the Game Your Own, presented by Genesis. And this feature this week is the HBCU Golf Alumni Group presented their inaugural HGA weekend at Shingle Creek in Orlando, Florida. And what this group is about, man, I'm Doug, I can't wait to hear your your yeah. your uh your take on this. It's where a lot of the former HBCU players got together to raise money for a good cause. Mm-hmm. And what that was is to provide a uh, scholarship for current HBCU golfers, as well as uh, put efforts, money efforts to bring back programs that have been lost in the HBCU golf system, namely Jackson state, Hampton, Barbara Scotia, et cetera. These are the schools that are yeah. in the HBCU uh, e- e- ethos that have no longer have a team and Doug I, I can't wait to hear your take given the fact oh. you're an HBCU alum that played well let me just say well. this you know having gone to an HBCU and fallen victim to this very exact thing look a lot of people don't know this Will when I transferred for, I was supposed to transfer directly from uh, University of Louisville to Florida A&M but during the year that I was supposed to transfer Florida A&M's golf team got cut that happened Instead, they, they did away with it that's why I took the year to go to the University of Kentucky. What happened when I was at the University of Kentucky is that someone came in and underwrote the golf program at FAMU. So the following year, the team was back. And now look at the team now. Look, taking money away from the golf team at HBCU is one of the dumbest things people can do. It's one of the most uh, uh, underrated sports that have lasting economic impact on a university. And I'm so proud of Michael Chappelle, who played at uh, Jackson State, that's no longer there. Clay uh, Myers, Clay Meyer also, but Clay's not actually on the board. Uh, I want to talk about Michael Chappelle, Kayla Williams. She played at Hampton, uh, the other HU to all the Bison out there. Uh, she played at Hampton, and her program is no longer there. Also on that board is Wayne Birch, the founder of Trap Golf. Justin Martin, who is a PGA professional, just took the director of. Uh, instruction at the new facility there in West Palm Beach. Reggie Newton, who played at Jackson State. Shasta Everhart, who played at Jackson State, is on the board as well. Jarrell Fields, who's your man, and Rod Jackson, who's the Mizuno rep down in the Georgia area. Uh, I find it very disheartening, Will, having been a part of a, of a program that was on the brink. Uh, I know what it's like to come back. If FAMU doesn't come back, I'm not where I am today. We need to do something. Steph Curry cannot be the only person in this country that can invest and help sustain an HBCU golf team. Uh, we got to figure out who can do more, who can help out this effort, and who can give Michael Chappelle a call and advocate to save and bring back some of these teams and some of these historically black colleges and universities. And, and that's the thing. What Steph did, he had the blueprint. It can be replicated now. That's the that's the beauty of what Steph Curry did for Howard Golf Team. Uh, I, I I'm behind this, Doug. Doug, I am full steam ahead on getting money to these guys. I'm getting chills from the message and the movement that they're trying to create, and I think it's second to none. And what better way to have former the, the board members who played on the actual golf team at their uh, yeah. uh, higher learning institution to be taken away, and you know it's full of passion in what they're trying to do. So we gotta get some money. We gotta get some notoriety down there, some eyeballs on what they're doing for years to come. I'm hey, all save board, save black golf, and uh, there you have it. That's make the game your own. Presented by Genesis. 
Well, I've had a blast hanging out with you today, man. Look, it's going to be a good week. we got a lot of things rolling. Hey, and a lot of people don't understand and know, Will. Tell them about Home Course Advantage, please. Home Course Advantage is a show that is on Golf Pass. That is... I use, use some of my mix. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to talk about it. You don't want to push the button. You don't want to push the red button. I ain't talking about it. <laughs> Hey, that's Will's show on Golf Pass. Be sure you go over there and support all of our NBC Sports properties. Golf Channel, NBC Sports. We got football coming back, Will. It's a, it's a good time. It's the best time to be in 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 sport right now, man. You got every sport kind of cracking, except basketball, but it's coming. It's on its way. It's coming. It's on its you way. know, golf takes an hour off and comes right back for the next season. <laughs> but, hey, man, it's always good to catch up with you, man. Hey, save black golf. That's what... The tag is going to be, man, Beyond the Fairway, presented by Genesis. We're going to get behind it. We're going to blast some stuff out. Chappelle, Kayla, everybody on the board, we're going to be, we're going to keep an eye out. What y'all got cracking? And best of luck to everybody out there. Will, man, it's, it's just good to see you, man, and kick it with you, bro. Heck, yeah. I just think uh, I like the bucket hat, the bucket move, you know. That that type of hat don't really damage my hairline too much. So I got to go get some. And uh, I can't <laughs> wait to see you next time, dog. See you next week, brother. I don't. I guess I'll see you on here because I don't know where we'll be. Hey, beyond the fairway to go. Stay tuned. I don't know where we'll be next because they haven't told us yet. Holla! <laughs>